Before we jump into the video today, I just want you all to know that I've created a brand new channel. It's an analog horror channel focused on Lovecraftian horror. So if you dig that sort of thing and you need a good scare, check it out. Man, we just love asteroids and meteors, don't we? That's a rhetorical question, you don't have to write your answer in the comments, but I won't stop you either. Meteors and the evidence that they leave behind can give us great insight into the Earth's and the solar system's past. I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Get, we'll be talking about a piece of black glass that was discovered back in 2011, and what that discovery means for the scientific future of studying craters throughout the solar system. The hottest piece of mantle rock ever discovered. It's a somewhat misleading title, conjuring the mental image of a scientist traveling to the mantle and physically recording the temperature of some rock. Or at least, that's where my ADHD brain went. Don't look at me like that. But in reality, we're talking about a piece of black glass that's about the size of the average human fist. The glass was discovered totally by accident in 2011. But it wasn't until 2017 that scientists surmised that the rock had been formed by temperatures reaching an insane 2,370 degrees Celsius, which, you know, is hotter than the Earth's mantle. We've covered a lot of asteroid impacts on this channel. Last year, you could have just called the channel Asteroid Get. The forces and the temperatures generated by the impactor that formed this piece of glass around 36 million years ago formed a crater 28 kilometers wide and reduced ground zero to molten rock. We're talking, of course, about Mistostin Crater in Labrador, Canada. Michael Zanetti, who was a doctoral student at Washington University St. Louis, was surveying the crater in question in order to better understand how NASA could explore other planets and moons, specifically like Mars and good old Luna. In fact, Mistostin bears striking resemblance to craters we observe on the moon and is a favorite spot to conduct research for that reason. Zanetti picked up that piece of glass as a fluke, but it's a good thing he did because the following analysis revealed that it was made up of some insanely resistant minerals. Those minerals are called zircons, and they basically inform scientists how hot it was when that piece of glass formed. In order to confirm this initial result, however, the scientific community needed to find more samples like it. Which brings us to a new study produced by Gavin Tolometti, who is a postdoctoral researcher at Western University in Canada. Gavin and colleagues were able to find more zircon samples from Mistostin, where the original sample was discovered. The results of the analysis conducted on those four samples in conjunction with the initial one give us a much more complete picture of the impact allowing us to better understand how the Earth's surface became so damn hot at the time of the impact. These results suggest that these zircon samples at what I'm assuming must have been ground zero were formed at the temperatures suggested by the original 2017 study. But the glass-bearing rock was heated to a temperature of 1,673 degrees Celsius. What's cool about this new information is that it is helping researchers pinpoint where in a crater they need to look for similar samples rather than just kind of aimlessly picking up materials that look interesting. The other mineral that was discovered at the impact site was redite, and it was actually discovered within the zircon samples extracted from rocks obtained at the site. Both of these minerals are formed by intense heat and pressures. Having these samples allows scientists to know the approximate pressures that the Earth would have been subjected to at the time of impact, measured in gigapascals. For reference, a single gigapascal is equal to 145,038 pounds per square inch of pressure. And the pressures present during the formation of Mistostin, we're talking about 30 and 40 gigapascals, which is, it's a lot. As I mentioned earlier, Mistostin Crater is often used as a precursor for lunar missions, often serving as a test case. Just imagine what we'll find by analyzing the rocks found in the same key areas in lunar craters or Martian craters. Yeah, I'm excited too. That's all I've got for you today. If you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and like, subscribe, share this with someone who loves asteroids in space, and ring that bell for updates. And be sure to check out my new analog horror project called The Office of Extra Dimensional Intelligence, linked in the pinned comment. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. 
I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy. <laughs>